Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to discuss the long call diagonal spread and how to use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A long call diagonal spread, also known by many other names like bull call diagonal, bullish diagonal spread, or poor man's covered call, is a horizontal option strategy that involves two call options. The investor first buys a long dated at the money or slightly in the money call option and then sells a shorter term call at a higher strike price at the same time. The goal is for the underlying asset's trading price to increase over time and for the short option to expire worthless. The maximum profit on a long call diagonal is the difference between the two strike prices minus the net debit paid to establish the trade. And you'll hit maximum profit when the underlying asset trades at exactly the short call strike at its expiration. While hitting the exact short strike at expiration is unlikely, the trade can still be profitable as long as the underlying price ends higher when the short call expires. With this strategy, the trader offsets the price of the long call by collecting premium from the sale of the short call. The maximum loss of a long call diagonal spread is limited to the net debit paid at the beginning of the trade. The condition happens when the underlying asset trades below the long call strike at its expiration. If this happens, both options expire worthless and unassigned. Long call diagonals are a bit more complicated than your average options trade. Thanks to bar chart screening tools, you can get potential trades in just a few seconds. Let me show you how. The first step is to go to barchart.com if you're not already there yet. Click on options at the top and then look for long call diagonal. After clicking on that, you'll be brought to a results screen. And these trades represent results based on a default filter that balances risk and reward. It's a great starting point for most investors. The results screen also includes important details like the stock symbol, expiration dates, strike prices, net debit, and other values that traders will find useful. You can rearrange the column headers from highest to lowest or vice versa by clicking on them. Though, I'm going to bring it back to highest to lowest IV skew since that's the default. Now, as I said, these trades are already a good starting point. But if you'd like to adjust the search parameters, you can click on set filters at the top, which will take you to the option screener page. On the screener page, we have our defaults right here. You can add your own filter by typing something into the Add Filter field and click Add. For example, I'll add Analyst Ratings. And if you're unsure what to add, you can open the drop-down to select any option. Available filters include stock and options data, such as options analysis, underlying prices, trade details, company earnings, and technicals. Everything you need to refine your trade is right there. For now, I'll keep the defaults, but I'll set the analyst ratings to hold and moderate buy, because remember, we don't want the stock price to go up, at least not too much. I'll also click on ETF for the security type so that we include them in the list. Then, change the expirations of leg one, that's your long call, to between 60 and 100 days. Then leg two expiration will be less than 60 days. And now I'll click see results. Okay, so these results that we have right here are arranged from highest to lowest IV skew. IV skew is the difference between the short and long calls implied volatility. You want the long calls IV to be lower than that of the short call to avoid a volatility crush. On the other hand, you do want volatility crush on the short call since that will lower its price. So, 
the higher IV skew, the more chance you end the trade at a profit. By the way, you can also have Bar Chart automatically screen the market for your filters and email you the results every single day. To do that, hit the Save Screener button, give it a name, and then when you'd like to get the emails. Okay, so let's have a look at these results. And you, you can pick any you like. But for the purposes of this video, let's pick apart this trade on Dollar General. According to the screener, you can buy a long call diagonal spread on Dollar General stock, which at the time of recording is trading at $76.24. The strike for the long call is $75, which makes it in the money, and you'll pay $7.95. The long call will expire in 70 days on May 16th, 2025. Meanwhile, the short call strike will be $85 and will expire in 14 days on March 21st, 2025, and you'll receive $1.38 per share for it, which brings your net debit to $6.57. The trade has an IV skew of 21.86% and an IV rank of 81.49%. So let's say, for example, that DG stock trades at $85, the short strike, on March 21st. That means that the short call will expire worthless and most likely unassigned. Meanwhile, the long call has $10 in intrinsic or time value as it has 56 more days until expiration. So let's say the $85 strike long call is now trading with a $15 premium. This brings your total profit to $8.43 a share, or $843 total, calculated by subtracting the net debit paid from the long call's present value if you decide to close the trade. On the other hand, if Dollar General's price falls below the long strike at its expiration, your trade will enter its maximum loss condition. The maximum loss of a long call diagonal spread is limited to the net debit paid at the beginning of the trade. Let's say, for example, the stock falls to $65. In that scenario, both calls are out of the money and will have little to no extrinsic value. If there is a little extrinsic value, you can close out the trade with a sell to close order on the long option and a buy to close order on the short call. However, you'll want to be sure that the trading fees don't exceed the premiums, as is often the case. So that's screening the entire market for potential long call diagonals. But what if you have a specific stock or ETF in mind? Well, that's also easy, and I can show you how. First, go to barchart.com, and then search for the asset using the search bar. For example, let's search target right here. Once on the stock's profile page, navigate to the left and look for horizontal spreads. Then, click on the long call diagonal tab, and you'll see some default search results. Here, you can change the expiration date in the dropdown, Filter using any strike price for either trade legs, rearrange the columns, or click on the screen link right here and set filter tab to access the option screener page for a more granular search. It's always a good idea to close your short positions if they're in the money, especially if it's close to expiration. For the long call diagonal, you have one active short position, the short call. So if it's in the money, I recommend taking whatever profits you have and closing it to avoid assignment. You can then sell another call, always with an expiry nearer than that of the long call. Long call diagonals allow you to buy a long call at a discount since the short call offsets the cost. The strategy is also flexible in that as the short calls expire, you can sell more, as long as the long call hasn't expired yet. Last, long call diagonal spreads have limited risks. On the other hand, a long call diagonal spread's profit potential is limited to the value of the long call after the short call expires. It's also highly dependent on low volatility, as initiating a trade with a higher IV puts you at risk of a volatility contraction while your trade legs are active.
And if that happens, your spread will lose value. Finally, this is more complex than most option strategies. And of course, having a short call means you need to be on the lookout for assignment risk. The long call diagonal spread is best used during neutral or moderately bullish markets and benefits from theta and volatility expansion. However, it's also a complex strategy and requires precise price forecasting to get maximum profit. That's why using any and all resources, including option screeners, will help you get the most out of your trade. If you need more information, visit the Options Learning Center, where you can find out more about the long call diagonal and also find out more information about the other options trading strategies, each broken down into their working parts.